Hi there. I thought I'd make a quick little video response. It seems that the atheists are all upset because I made a comment on a Christian channel. They're the thought police. And um, they don't want you to leave any comments. See, what's really getting the atheists upset here because they're... They're behaving like demons, okay? Um, hey! It's all about prayer with these fucking asshole, fucking religious, retarded motherfuckers. It's all about fucking prayer. Pray. That's going to help. Sable Chicken actually left, left a comment on, on this video that I guess I'll fucking link if I feel like it, um, where she actually says what Tommy needs is prayer. All the money in the world will not help him solve this problem. What he needs is, is Jesus. Why didn't um, Jesus freak? Say, let's pray for Tommy. You know, help out financially, help out in the physical, but let's pray for Tommy. Pray for his healing, spiritual healing and physical healing. Why didn't he do that? Well, because he didn't do it, um, all the atheists mirrored that video. Because they are offended with prayer. They say that prayer is does nothing. I saw that. I saw Jesus Freak's video, which I thought was a really good thing to do as a human being. Now, I think Jesus Freak says some really stupid things and has some really fucking archaic beliefs. But at the end of the day, he seems to be a decent human being who will you know, take stand for the right thing in somewhat of many occasions that I've seen. So I have at least a bit of respect for him for that. The atheists, like the thought police, they say, we don't want you to pray. Praying is ridiculous. Praying not only is ridiculous, but it's offensive. And I think Jesus Freak did know that. He knows how the atheist community, feel, uh, community feels about prayer. And that was probably why he didn't bring it up. Now, Truth and JC said, um, as Christians, are we um, more worried about offending atheists than we are offending God? You need to be praying for Tommy to that his divine salvation. Pray for him. Do the most useless, no good thing possible. You know, when you have a when you have a problem in your life, and it's it's a heavy heavy burden. Um, you know, God wants you to come to Him with that problem, but not only with your problems, but it's building a relationship with God. And um, I, the atheists, they don't understand that. You know, and I can understand they don't understand it, but, you know, to, to go nuts the way they do, um, it, it, it makes it, what they're trying to do is make it hard for us to ask for prayer. And I, I know sometimes myself, I mean, I, I'll go to God with my prayers and my problems my joys and my thanks but it's not always easy for me to ask others to pray for me what's even worse is the comment section that I go through there and I see a couple familiar names to me I see who I've deemed probably the dumbest user I've ever encountered and now after reading this one of the most unempathetic useless cunts on the planet YouTuber out or outside that I've ever encountered Sable Chicken leaving you a little yeah, pray woo -hoo, you know Anyway, you know, while you guys are, you know, taking Tommy's um, hardship here and using it as an opportunity to um, belittle and berate and call Christians every name you can think of because you're the thought police and you're going to stop us from praying and you're going to stop us from commenting on other Christians' uh, videos. You're going to make it so um, hellish for us. I mean, that's what you've done with Tommy's situation. You've, you've taken the focus off of Tommy and put it on an opportunity to um, berate and belittle Christians because of prayer. And it makes you look like demons. So, let's put the focus back on Tommy.
The man needs, needs prayer. He's not asking for that. But if you're a Christian, consider praying for him because he needs God in his life. Um, and uh, if, you, if you feel um, you'd like to help financially, um, you're going to have to wade through some insults if you're a Christian. But if you're an atheist, I'm sure you'll find it enjoyable to um, listen to Christians be berated by the time you get to his um, donation page. So, um, you know, uh, let's put the focus back on Tommy. He needs your help, okay? He's selling off his really good stuff. So how do you get there? If you want to find Tommy from the Bronx so you can see what he's selling, you know, to help him out, um, type in his name, you know, click on his icon, and it takes you to, oh, wait a second here. Hello, Laverne here. Thanks for talking. Laverne, this is, this is not Tommy from the Bronx. Um, but this is his channel. And Tommy's stuff that he's selling, where, where is this? You know, why does he make it so hard to navigate around his own channel if he's, you know, really needing help? Um, but he's decided instead um, to be very offensive to Christians and um, put up a video by Mr. Evolution who happens to be Brent King. Just so you know who's talking. Because it's not him. your fucking head tell you that it's the right thing to do. You can't just do it because you're a good person and you want to help others. You fucking asshole. You are a maggot. And go brush your goddamn hair, you fucking dumb mop. That's it. I can't stand this fucking guy. He makes me want to puke. Fuck you, dude. This guy's name is Trustin J.C. T-R-U-S-T-I-N-J-C. Tell this bitch what you think of him. Apparently a lot of people think what he's saying is of oh, Jesus. Oh, by the way, before I finish this, didn't Jesus hang out with sinners? See ya! Peace! Okay. Well, that was certainly uh, insulting. So let's go back and try to find where we can see Tommy's things. Uh, we have to click over here. Now, there's still, still no Tommy videos. you got to go to the uploads. Okay, now we finally come to Tommy's videos. You know, you've been insulted. You had to go through the maze. You see what I'm saying? This is top quality shit. This isn't bullshit. This is, this is real deal shit. This isn't, uh, you know, let me go to Walmart and buy a fucking Stein kind of shit. This is good stuff that I'll be letting go for fucking real cheap only because, you know... I mean, I didn't want to have the fucking surgery, believe it or not, but I, I, I you know, times are tough and I need, uh, I need some money. I'm out of work, I need some money. You know what I mean? That's, that's, it's a $200 set right there. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult to navigate to Tommy's page. You gotta listen to Brent Keen, which is a real bummer. He's really insulting. You know that time, Tommy? When you um, took that sculpture that Yoke Up had, you know, out of the goodness of his heart, made for you, sculpture of cross, just because he loved you and he really, really cares about you, and and you took that sculpture and you you put it on a bridge in the woods and left it there because you are kind of a jerk. Um. You know, there, uh, that was a symbolic move. That was a, that was a real symbolic move. Because, um, you know, our bridge from our sinfulness to God is Jesus. Jesus is that bridge. Now, you may not find that very valuable. You think that's something we're throwing away. That's your business, isn't it? But, you know, you're not dead yet. Uh, there's still time to repent, you know, and come, come to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I don't want to throw you away. Not symbolically. Not, not for real. 
I, I want you, Jesus. I want to know my Creator. It's not too late for that. I, I, I hope you um, wish you the best, Tommy. Um, I, I hope your operation is, is successful. You've got a large, um, there's a large community of atheists, and um, you know they all think you're a great guy. And I'm, I'm sure that you'll make enough money to make ends meet. You know, God provides a way. <coughs> sure. Now, you atheists, you don't want prayer. Um, if we choose to pray for you or not, it's not your decision.